Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Rebirth Reset. If you couldn't tell by the new tile screen, we beat the chest in the last episode, spoilers. So we beat the chest with Maggie, 82 out of 97, Dad's key, oh, we got the Polaroid, Dad's key and Maggie's faith all to appear in the basement. That's good, we got the final ending. I say we're on a roll. Start random me, Eve. Uh, Eve needs to go to the chest, but more importantly, Eve needs to go beat Satan. So uh, let's try be let's try beat the game with Eve. Curse room. I would love to go to it, but I'm gonna. There was a dime in that poop. I swear, nickels and dimes are dropping really crazily. Why can't I move to the to the right? There we go. We're fine. For a second, I got stuck on the wall there. Oh, Eve, your damage is so bad. I can't wait to try and get some health off that boss. Get to that curse room. I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's go. Let's go onwards. Jumpy spiders versus Eve. We're in for a fun run. Ah, uh, you know, Eve's not too bad, but not the best. I need damage. That's my one complaint with Eve. Uh, I hate the spiders when you get locked behind the rocks. That's one dead. If you can just go this one out without getting hit. Come on, spider. There we go. Now come out into the arena where we can fight you properly. We're done. We're good. First item slept for dummies. That's terrible. It's really terrible. It's really bad. Believe. It's okay. It's a space bar item, I guess. We'll move onwards. And there's the boss. So if we can stop this guy from spawning a spider, which we didn't, but it's okay. We can get to the boss. Uh, Spirit Heart. Leave it because we're going to the curse room. Duke of Flies. I guess we'll use homing shots on Duke of Flies, although we've got to get through these regular flies first. <laughs> It takes one, two, three, four shots to kill one of those big flies. That is no good. But as long as we can get rid of the flies, we can go to the curse room. Hopefully there'll be a damage up like the pentagram or the pact or something in the curse room. It'll be all good. I took a bit of damage by accident, but I guess that's kind of okay because Dead Bird is now doing his work on doing flies. I can focus on the flies, but I don't want to be getting hit every so on every floor just to deal with the boss because that lowers our chances of a deal with the devil so uh let's not do that my throat is getting a little bit sore right now because i've just recorded fez i recorded three terraria parts because i had to take on the pumpkin moon jesus juices damage up i guess we'll take it we're gonna lose one full heart going to the curse room i guess it's worth it we gotta do it just in case there's stuff in there can't go to the shop secret room it's worth looking for, I guess. Hey! Not going to complain, nor am I not going to pick it up. Sorry, people that don't like Brimstone. But, as Eve, we need this shit. It's not a one run by any means. Uh, hold on a minute. Shop. Item room. Nothing. I don't know where the secret room is. Let's just pick up our spirit heart. Let's go down to the next floor. That was a good floor. I'm glad we got Brimstone. It's going to help Eve greatly, it's not going to win the game for us, but it's going to be a star. So this fly goes first, then we got all these. But yeah, my throat might be a little bit sore because I am recording, oh I'm not recording, I've recorded three 20 minute parts of Terraria because we were trying to fight the pumpkin moon and succeed, which is no easy feat, but we managed to, we managed to do it in the end, so go me, but... Uh, I fucking hate the pumpkin. Uh, I don't like the fact that all of these guys are killing themselves on the fire. But they're all dead. And they didn't spawn as many red flies as I thought they would. Got a good chance for the secret room. I would really desperately like a key out of any of these fires. Or to be able to bomb my way into the secret room if I get another bomb. Because I really need to get to that item room. Because if we start skipping item rooms, Z, it's all going to go pear shaped. There is another curse room on this floor, so I'm gonna do it after we've been to the boss. Another penny, fine by me. Telepathy for dummies doesn't do anything for us now. Um, so we are just going to start working working Gemini down. Oh, we nearly got hit by Gemini. Don't get hit by Gemini. Gonna try and take out the baby Gemini first while he's on the other side of the screen if at all possible. Because the baby, the baby Gemini is gonna chase me down and I prefer to have the baby one not chase me down, but just have the big one running around like he is, because the big one is no threat. And we indeed managed to do that in the order that I wanted to do that, so he's dead. Deal with the devil. Is it wise to trade your hearts for a deal with the devil? Depends what's in there. Guppy's head and book of sin. 
are not items that I'm willing to trade for or deals with the devil. Sorry, guy, but that's just a no-no. We might, we're probably going to lose our spirit heart. Let's not be around the bush. I will see if there's um, anything else that can help us not lose our spirit heart. And hopefully find the key, because, you know, as I say, skipping item rooms is not something I take pride in doing. We have got a bomb for the Tinted Rock, which could give us a key. But it could also allow us to bomb our way into the item room. Depending on whether the secret room is next to the curse room and so on. Let's just, let's just go to the curse room first, see what's in there. Hopefully it'll be an item that's better than the deal with the devil. I'm not expecting a item, but if there's something in here, just a live bomb, we have found the secret room. I mean, as long as it's short, really, isn't it? So, key please, no, so we're just going to do this, this, and this, bomb our way out, and hit that tinted rock and hope for a key. So, key please. No, it gives us a damage up. Not going to complain about a damage up, but... Uh, I mean, okay, I guess we'll say we didn't get the damage up. This is, gonna, this is going to be my justification. We didn't get the damage up out of the Tinted Rock. We got the damage up out of the uh, item room. There was a Max's head in the item room. Let's move on. Let's never speak of this again. To the catacombs we go. Because, of course, why would it be the, the caves? Because we're doing so well as Eve. Actually, no, that's a lie. We are. I can't complain. We've got brimstone. We've got small rock. We're doing okay as Eve. All our only concern is health. If we get health, this is a good run. I, is it chest worthy? Another curse room. Holy shit. Is it chest worthy? Uh, probably not. I don't think we could run the chest on two. Uh, even if we got like 12 hearts, I don't think we could run the chest. We might, but. I think we'll be going to show, but we'll see, because everything could turn around with item rooms. Okay, this is getting, uh, this is getting to be a bit of a fucking joke at this point. Uh, judgment. You know what? I'm going to have to play you, Judgment, because it's getting to be kind of beyond the joke at this point. No keys to go to the shop, so why not? Maybe you can give us keys. If you give me a key, I would appreciate your Judgment. Or you could just pay out with the ladder. I mean, the ladder's... Let me, don't get me wrong, the ladder's a good item, but... Um, I would have preferred him to drop a consumable which allows me to insert it into a, a locking mechanism before actually paying out with what he was going to pay out with. Hey, there you go, so that allows us into the... Okay, this is the bullshit room. Uh, don't die to the greed heads, please! I absolutely fucking despise that room, okay, just... No! Neutral flight, don't do that. So, that was a bullshit room. Lemon Mishap, of course, the best item in the world. No way of getting hearts back. I think we're going to be having a different run here just because of that bullshit layout. This guy isn't too bad. He can fly, so Lemon Mishap is completely worthless. Go for the heart. Go for that heart. It's completely pointless, but that's okay. He's going to be dead soon. He's only got a few flies on screen. He's dead. He dropped a heart. No chance of a deal with the devil because of one that damage there and two because of that stupid ass green room. Kind of pissed off about that. So uh, let's just see what we get. We'll pick up this heart while we can and pageant boy. Yeah, this is great. Thanks. So uh, from the brimstone, it's turned around. Spyro, what are you doing? Why are you walking back? I'm going to that fucking curse room. One heart is still enough to survive, and, you know, there could be something in that curse room that changes it all around, like flying to help us avoid the bullshit that we just did with greed. So there you go, let's just go there. We can't even open the mob trap room, so, uh, never mind, let's just continue onwards, shall we? Let's just continue onwards. So, curse room! It contains red chest, contains double spiders, waste of a heart. Let's not, let's not dwell. Let's just go down to the next floor and hope for everything to be alright, everything to be better. I mean, we've got a chance of beating Mum's heart, so that's that's my that's my goal right now. As long as we can beat Mum's heart, that's another that's another Mum's heart defeat towards the 200 Mum's heart defeats that we're gonna get. So down to the next floor we go. Uh, we'll go to the left first. We've got some turrets. Um, what a horrible night for a curse, we're going to die most likely. 
So, let's just get ready for our inevitable destruction. That one's dead. Ah, okay. I'm going to take you out from range. We go with Nickel. Nickel's really going to help us survive. More money. More money is always um, a help when we only have half a heart and we're pretty much dead in the water. Oh, man. Fuck you, Eve. Fuck you. Actually, no, it's not even Eve. I can't complain about Eve. I can complain about the goddamn layout on Greed. Full health. Tears up. It's, it's not what we need. It's not what we need! Okay, good, good. He's gonna be the one that finishes us, isn't she? Um, yep, there you go. There you go. So, goddamn. Random. Samson. This good, this good, I love this spring, this good! What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> we got Samson. Even worse than Eve. So, uh. Yeah. I like that. I love it. I love it when you give me a character worse than Eve. Ah, oh, it's a curse room. Probably gonna waste my spirit heart on that. Oh, good, the pony! I like fighting really hard bosses on the first goddamn floor without the ability to fly, without the ability to stack rage. The worst fucking tears, and now we are locked out from going to the curse room. So just, uh, just, just, yeah, just, just keep going, please. I'm enjoying every, every moment of this. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking die against the pony. Uh, can I, well, no, don't try and get him with forever alone. In fact, just get trapped in the corner by the, uh, the head here. Right, the head's dead. We've got a chance to survive. So just stay away from him, and we have a chance of victory. The curse room's gone for us, but we have a chance of victory. So stay away. Oh, God. Just stay away, please. I'm gonna try! Believe me, believe you and me, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go to that curse room. This isn't me throwing, this is just... Oh, there's a tinted rock. There's so much. I've got health. Uh... Oh, Spirit Hearts, thank you. Okay, so, we got flying. It's not the best in the world. Oh, we've got four red hearts. Down to the basement too with Samson. N gain nothing on that floor except a shitty ability to fly. Which isn't even going to be all that helpful. Because we can build a bit of rage, but you know, if we need a spacebar item... Okay, that was terrible damage to take. <sighs> let's move on. Let's just ignore it, let's move on. Let's fight the boss, let's get a deal with the devil, let's get mom's knife. I don't care if I don't... I don't care, mom's knife. Samson is garbage, I'm going to do it. Who are we fighting? Gemini, so he's come back for round two. Look at how much damage we're doing to Gemini. This is pathetic. But well, you know, I guess we gotta we gotta do it. Sooner or later we gotta beat we gotta beat the chest of Samson. This is this doesn't feel like the run to me. So uh yeah, that's a thing. I have no words really, like you might be just saying tomorrow just saying yep, yeah, that's a thing. I have no words. We had a good run as Eve. I was really happy with that run, the brimstone. The small rock. I was really enjoying that one. I was going to actually have a good run. And then that one room, that one bullshit layout, if you don't have flying, you're fucked with the two greed heads. Just was like, oh, you're having a fun run? Well, here, I'm going to. I hope you all just saw that. I hope you all just saw, like, little, little Gemini fly at me and go through me. HP upgrade with damage. That's fantastic. We're starting to turn this around. So, maybe we can turn it around. Maybe we can pull it out. Maybe it's all good. Super Pride is not the is not what I want with home and troll bombs. Super Pride, please just... I don't know. Just die. Just don't make troll bombs for me to do. Oh god, you go down really slow. You all go down so slow. Samson, why are you so shit? Well, at least he's almost dead. I'm super proud you better be worth the trouble. Really, you don't get killed by troll bombs, you're dead. Give us a tower card. Wheel of Fortune, worthless for us. Pick up this heart. 
and try and move on to the item room which we're inevitably going to have no keys for because that's just how the game is feeling today. It's saying, hey, you beat the chest with Maggie, now it's time to endure the, uh, the, endure the shit. So, there you go. Let's kill this guy. Kill this guy. Two bombs. Not keys. Uh, go on, attack fly. Okay, attack fly tore that guy up a little bit. He's coming back round. We've got a bit of rage built. So we should be okay to deal with this room. Or just get hit by a grandfather fly. Both work. I guess. So will you be nice enough to drop the key? Or are we going to be going down to like the catacombs with no, um, no thing whatsoever? We completely missed with that, uh, that attack fly shot. Tarot card! The devil. It's good against the boss. It's better than Wheel of Fortune. Curse room that I'm going to take because I haven't got a single key. So that's a bomb, that's not a key. That's two troll bombs. So we're skipping an item room as Samson. That's always good news, isn't it, boys and girls? Skip an item room as Samson. So down we go to the to our inevitable catacombs. Because it's gonna it's gonna be like, hey, hard floors again. So down we go to the catacombs. Very key bereft. Yep, catacombs, just as I suspected, because we're on one of these runs today. And we we move onwards. And you know what? If I die as Samson on the catacombs, fuck it! We'll do a hat trick and we'll play as Blue Baby, the terrible trio, shall we? So there's another bomb. Really need those. The bombs are in uh, real short supply right now. There's a shop. We'd love to go to that shop, but you know, keys are required for shops. I tried to use the attack fly. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even bother trying to use attack fly when we've got Samson because. Every piece of health of Samson's is precious to us, and the chances that we're going to win this run as Samson are pretty much nil, with no keys, especially. I... I don't know. I don't know. This run is just, uh, this run's just a train wreck. What should we call this run? Terrible trio or train wreck? I guess it depends if we win with Samson or if it lasts that long. Because, uh, you know, we could always, like, get to Mama Samson and the run's been going for half an hour, so we have to end it. So if it ends, like, if we don't get anywhere within 25 minutes, I'll start one more run. If we do die after the half an hour mark, then it's going to be called train wreck. So that's that's the thing. Uh, oh, jeez, you've managed, you've blessed me with a key. Thank you, benevolent, benevolent troll engine for blessing me with such a gracious gift of a key. I appreciate it. No, really, I do. Please drop more of them. So here's our item room. So let's go. Let's go see what awaits us in our item room. Hopefully, I'm looking for a tears up or a damage up or something to improve Isaac's da or Samson's damage. Or you could just give me a sack of pennies because money is important right now. I don't care that I got hit on the fire. At this point, sack of pennies is not going to win the game for us. Let's just go die to the boss, pretty much. So we're fighting these guys. Um, we can easily not take damage on this room. Who's our boss going to be? Fallen, the bloat. I'm looking forward to fighting a bloat, especially a champion version of the bloat. That'd be that'd be great for me. That really that'd be a real morale boost if you. Uh, Allow me to fight the blow. No, really, please, let me fight the blow. Or Mask of Infamy. Oh, now we're getting gracious enough to get a load of keys. But keys don't mean anything when there's no health on the floor. Red patch. Yes. Right, let's go. Peep. Well, I was close. It's, it's not quite the blow, but it's also, uh, it's also not quite something that you're going to win on either. So, we're going to try beating Peep. As I say, I'm going to try my hardest to win. But don't, don't hold your hopes, don't get your hopes up for a victory on uh, the Samson run here. We are, we are winning though, we are pulling it back, I'm going to hide behind this rock and then start firing more at him. I'm going to try and get him with, um, with the attack fly whenever I can. The eye almost hit me and finished me, so that was a thing, but we're still winning. Ah, the eyes are now hemming me in, we can keep ourselves safe over the rock. The eye bounced off the other eye, nearly got me killed, but we're still fine, we're still fine, we're still fine, watch out for the eye, we're still fine, he's nearly dead, one jump, he's dead, got a HP upgrade, or something, 
We got a piece of heart. We need to go to that cursed room because it could be the difference between victory and defeat. <laughs> Not really, but you know, we can try. We can try. Because, you know, be damned, I'll do it. If we have seven cents, I'll go to the shop. Curse room! Friends till the end, and we know that's not the secret room, so we can kind of guess the secret rooms next to the item room. See if it's got some money in it, see if we can make the shop worthwhile, get a blue candle. Considering you got flying, is it worth giving up flying for blue candle? I don't know. There's money though, so money is something. That allows us to buy the shop item if it's good. So we'll go, we'll see, we'll try. This is definitely a show run, screw Isaac. I'm barely, st I'm struggling to, to survive. Seven cent map is fine. Uh, you know what, I'll buy out the shop. We might need keys for the next floor. Tarot card could be good, could be the hangman. That might be useful if we decide to get rid of the pony. Down we go to the next floor. Down we go to, to try. Probably gonna end up in the catacombs too. Because the game is, uh, in that mood today, my throat is getting so fucking sore because I've recorded so much today. Ah. Oh no, we got sent to the caves, thank you. And the treasure map allows us to see all secret rooms, which is good for us, so let's bomb our way into the secret room and see what awaits us in here. Bookable Isle. It's more damage. I've got to take it. I've got to take it. It's more damage. It's better than the pony in my eyes. Let's go. So we've lost the ability to fly. That sucks. Found a shot. That's really helpful. I'm gonna go into the. Ah, uh, actually, we only got two cents. It's not worth it. Three cents. Still not worth it. We might as well just open this uh, golden chest if we don't get enough money. Because we got two keys, so why not? Let's go over here and see if this is a terminal. It's not. It's actually a really shitty area. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I'm gonna get out of this. Yep. Well, I said I was going to do it, so, uh, start game! Blue Baby Terrible Trio is what this episode is going to be called. <laughs> okay, so, make the poop, shoot the poop, get nothing out of the poop, start the, let's start the Terrible Trio run. Don't make spiders, please. Blue Baby has enough trouble. So, yeah, let's do the uh, Terrible Trio run. What are we gonna get as Blue Baby? Probably jack shit, because the game's wanting us to get get jack shit. Uh, the Emperor teleports us to the boss. No point in using it on easy, easy floors. Let's just uh, get to the item room and see what awaits us in there. And, you know, Blue Baby, all we gotta do is beat Mom. Beat Mom, we get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Get permanent Polaroid invincibility, Blue Baby can become... Really good, piercing shots, that's good. Okay, this blue baby run is starting to be really good. We've got piercing shots, that's a good upgrade. I like piercing shots. So, maybe Terrible Trio, maybe blue baby's the one that's gonna pull it out. We'll see. We've got a lot of stuff uh, to make blue baby work though. We need a way to generate spirit hearts. Curse rooms are completely off the table in reality, unless we can find some tinted rocks, unless we can find some good stuff to make Blue Baby actually be viable to go to curse rooms. It's not, it's not on the table for us right now. Uh, this guy could give us a spirit heart. Blue usually equals spirit hearts. No, nope, just equals penny. Pennies are just as valuable as spirit hearts, I guess. There you go. Uh, we're looking for the boss. Poop's ready again. See if we get nickels out of the poops. Double spider, easy room. I love the easy rooms as Blue Baby. Uh, don't get hit, please stop scuttling really far. Right, we've got single spiders. That's easy. Red hearts are meaningless. Yeah, drop more red hearts in the poop. I really want that. I uh, would like to get to this nub before it starts creating spiders, if at all possible. So, you only have the single spider to deal with. And there we go. Pill could be anything. Pill is bad trip. I love bad trip as Blue Baby. Because full health will be worthless as Blue Baby, so there you go. We've got, uh, we've already got one and a half hearts knocked off us. So I think we are pretty much doomed for failure on this run, unless we can pull out something amazing. Which, do you think we're going to pull out something amazing? 
I don't think so, especially because apparently the Widow has got an increased jump rate now. There we go, we're dead. We're dead. I'll have one more as Blue Baby. Maybe I'll have one more as Blue Baby. But, it's just, it's all gone, it's all gone pear-shaped, it's all gone downhill. God damn it. God damn it, you three. Blue Baby, Samson, and fucking Eve. You three are the worst. Why must you put me through this eternal torture of just shit, but, you know, this is our last run, I'll, I'll make it a half an hour video, but, Scapula, okay, Scapula is good for Blue Baby, maybe this is the one, Scapula is a starting point for Blue Baby, let's make it happen, get Scapula, get the Mitre, get the Relic, it's all good. Onwards we go, because if we get down to half a spirit heart, then we get one spirit heart back. So effectively, I think we can be kind of invincible, at least up to mom. And maybe I'll cut it, maybe I won't. If I cut it, I'll cut it. Uh, that's a speed upgrade, so I'm not going to complain about that. But yeah, if I cut the video and just show this blue baby run, then I cut the video and just show this blue baby run. Depends what, depends what items we get, depends... Uh, where we go? If we get Dr. Fetus, we're obviously gonna try and go to the chest with Dr. Fetus because it's an overpowered item. So, uh, that might equal a really long video and I'll have to cut the other two runs. We might just struggle our way to show and then I won't cut the other runs. But we'll see. I wanna get up here out of Larry Jr.'s train path of evil death. Um, try and shoot the poop to give myself a method of escape. If he does decide to come up here, which he has, but there is only one that we have to focus on now. So, focusing on one of them is fine by me. Yes, stay down there. Staying down there makes you an easy kill. Knocking off two of your body segments is always useful to me. Um, you're coming here. Getting scary because he's dead. Alright, HP upgrade. That's good. Poop. Go again. No, we get a coin first. It's risky. This is a friends to the end. That's not a bad pill. Tears down. That's an awful pill. And I ate them. Two retarded pills. That's uh, we've got a great pill rotation here. So uh, no, really. I mean, we have got a genuinely good pill rotation. Mob trap room. Got to fight it in case there's a key in there. Start shooting because it spawns two waves as always. Just avoid the nutsack fly. No, don't avoid the nutsack fly. Uh. And just try for the boss. So we'll be looking for the boss as quickly as possible. If you get a deal with the devil, we go down to half a half. You know that all depends what's in there. If mom's knife is in there, or the nail's in there, I'm gonna have to take it and start generating spirit hearts. We'll see. So this might drop a key by the end, we'll see. Nope, just a penny. Just the penny. Nothing else. So let's try and find the boss, shall we? Oh good, you. Uh, you know what, I'm going to shoot you a few times, not too many, and you're going to blow up this tinted rock for me. You are going to blow up that tinted rock for me. Even if I have to run you around this circuit several times, you're blowing up that tinted rock for me. So yep, come back round, and we do it again. Nope, you're going to take more shots, that's fine by me. Because I am having you open this for two HP upgrades as Blue Baby. And that gives us some uh, some viability if we take a deal with the devil. It's turning round, it's turning round. We're doing good. This guy needs to stop running away from me, please. Please, sir. Sir, please refrain. Sir, please refrain from running away from the Blue Baby. There we go. We survived. We go downwards. A cursed room. One full spirit. Well, no way out of that. Curse room, one full spirit heart to go into the curse room. Can't justify it. Maybe. If I had flying, I might, because it's only half a heart, but let's uh let's deal with this spider. Come on, spider. Let's deal with you first. This is a long floor, we'll probably have to come back for the item room. Got no bombs. Got no keys. Keys could be in the fire. Might as well pop the poop here. No keys. This is a long cellar too. So, uh... Moving on! Jeez, this is actually quite a big cellar too. 
Well, if the spider doesn't want to deal with me, I don't want to deal with him for now. Uh, oh, spider's now on the now on the move. Let's shoot you. Oh, God, I really fucking hate these guys that run away. They're not, they're just annoying. Blow him up, blow him up. Yeah, I still managed to get hit. God. Damn it. My, my, we're not even at the boss yet. This is crazy. My, my, I've never seen someone so irresponsibly responsible to play four fucking shitty eyes at runs in a row. Thanks for the penny, it helps. It doesn't, I need a key. Boss room, finally, you go away. So let's see if we get a deal with the devil. If not, I will use a whole heart on that curse room, I guess. I mean, why not? Fighting the, oh, goes. Oh, goes. Oh, oh, joy. Joy to the world. I mean, it's better than the poop, but we couldn't get away from that. So uh, look at how much damage we're dealing. Obviously, when you're playing as Blue Baby, you want to be dealing this amount of damage to a uh, boss. But of course, you want to be fighting this particular boss as Blue Baby on the second floor. Uh, at this point, it's kind of comical, isn't it? The game's just taking a shit on me. Well, we're not taking a deal with the devil. We're pretty much just the same. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Binding of Isaac, despite my own fucking ineptitude and despite the game giving me some bullshit right now. If you if you like the video, despite the fact that I completely suck at this uh, this thing, feel free to leave a like and if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. I'm doing the wrap up now because, you know, there's no chance. There's no chance in hell at all. One bomb is going to kill us. There's no way of getting hearts back. So, uh, yeah. I'll say it now, and then if we die, then... Uh, okay, we're dead. No, we live. We live, but barely! I'm still trying! I'm not throwing, I'm still trying! I'm just giving you the wrap up now, because... Look at how much damage we're dealing. This guy's still going to take a while to kill. And one well-placed bomb, we did it. We, we fucking survived amazingly. We are flying. We are flying, but we're dead. Are you gonna waste it? Are you gonna just put half a heart into the curse room? <sighs> At this point, I don't know. There's no way I can get that chest. Fuck it. Uh, fish head. Not better, really. No keys, so we'd be skipping an item room, so you know what? We're just gonna use half a heart on the curse room. Well, no, we're not. So we're dead, probably. If we go down to the catacombs, we are. Full spiral. Big question. It's called triple trouble. But uh, you've got four. You've had four runs. So is it going to be quadruple something? I don't know. I can't think of anything weird. You see, if it was double, it'd be double disaster, triple trouble. Quadruple, quadruple. I've got it. I've got to try it in case it's got a key. I haven't got a key, so fuck it. Ah, uh, down we go. But I think I'll just—I'll still call it triple trouble. It's just got four runs because it's still like the three or the terrible trio is what I was going to call it because it's the three uh, assholes. And as predicted, we are going down to the catacombs yet again. Because the game is just in that in that kind of mood today. The 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 time of day, the 2 p.m. recording is like, nah, fuck that. We're just gonna give him shit. So, don't record at two or half one, really. Let's, let's, uh, let's move onwards. See if we can find a boss. The marry. Okay, this is uh, it's kind of shit right now. You see, if I if I didn't take the pony, I would be dead right there. But luckily, I did take the pony. Although I've got careful not to get caught in the blast radius. There we go. Still alive. I'm still alive. I won't be after this room if I don't be careful. Right, don't move. Don't move and the nutsack flies can't get you. We haven't got any range though because we've got that range down so we're kind of in the shitter. Oh man, come on. Come on, we can do it. You can drop a spirit heart and keep me alive. Wait, we picked up scapula. Didn't we? 
Didn't we pick up Scapula? I swear we pick up Scapula. So, if we get hit, will we die or will we come back with one half a heart? Now I'm not sure. I don't know how that. I don't know how this works. We did we come back with a full heart. Okay, so as long as we scapula appropriately, we're alive. Never mind. Everything I said about this run, we're not dead yet. Scapula could potentially make us invincible. Potentially, it's going to be tricky, but uh, scapula could make us invincible. Yes, I used my bomb. Okay, now we're not invincible. We're back down to one hit could kill us. And there's still two of these guys on screen, and they are, like, split all the way across the map, which is the worst possible thing. Because obviously both of them split completely across the map makes it harder for me to find a safe place to, to dodge. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to get rid of the small one first. Alright, they're starting to get back in sync. No, they're not. They were almost back in sync. Well, now they're completely out of sync again. That's okay. Now they're, now they're really in sync. They're following each other. Nope, they're not following each other. That one's still alive. I kind of find that hard to believe. Oh, oh, just be careful. We can still win. We can still pull it out. We just gotta try and hit them with multiple barrages when we can. Alright, now there's only one. Now we're fine. We, we live? Pageant Boy is exactly the item we need, as always. Pageant Boy is a fantastic item. We're one cent away from going to the shop. Can you tell the sarcasm in my voice? I bet you can't. So we move onwards, and we, we are still alive. If we take one more hit, we still come back with one spirit heart. So we're still effectively alive at the moment. We've got to save this key for the item room. There is a curse room. Whoop. So we could scan the curse room technically by going in. Okay, that was sucks. But we can still scan the curse room because we're we're immortal, kind of. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna go to that curse room with my scapular ability. It's gonna cost us half a heart and spiders, but we're still gonna come back with one full spirit heart. So we're okay. Everything's cap. I'm cat bug, and everything's gonna be okay. No, it's not. If this is the room layout we're getting, right? The spider is the thing. Right. Just avoid nutsack flies and try and kill nutsack flies so that we've got room to maneuver around the spiders. Now we've got room to maneuver around the spiders. The shop is accessible. Halo of flies means that we can avoid incoming fire. It's all turning around. The shop, uh, I've got to use this at the potential chance. Yeah, I've got enough money for the shop, but I haven't got the key to, to access it. But we could go to the secret room. We know the secret room's not there because we're in the cursed room. The secret room could be here. It is. So now we can bomb our way into the shop. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Might as well play this two times. Got a pill? That's just a retarded pill, isn't it? Yep. So, well, meh. Yeah. And we get blue candle and the spirit heart. It's tricky here. It's tricky. Let me think about this, okay? You see, blue candle can really help us. But we need the HP more. But we're immortal. I'm going to take blue candle. So, um, we're giving up flying for blue candle. We really needed that HP from the spirit heart. However, we go down, we can go down to half a heart, lose half a heart, come back to one full heart with Scapula. So, we can find other shops that have spirit hearts in. But I think that because of our damage, we need Blue Candle. And because of our situation that we're in, we need Blue Candle. So this is, um, Catacombs 2. This is kind of the, uh, gotta make it work kind of deal. That's basically why I bought Blue Candle for situations like that. We have a key for the item room. Uh, now we are down to half a heart, but we will come back. Keep firing in the Blue Candle when you can. We will come back when we, uh, when we die. So we're okay for a minute. 
Just try and locate things as fast as possible. Try and hit that TNT. Okay, we're back at full health now. Now we're potentially dead. Now I'm scared. I'm running scared. Don't get me wrong. I'm running terrified. Uh, these... Are, oh, that spider's going to get us. These eternal flies are making it incredibly hard to hit the... Okay, that's what I'll know. That, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Binding of Isaac. If, you're in, if you enjoyed the episode, despite of my stupidity and goddamn bad luck, feel free to leave a like. And if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be a lot better.